Hi moms and dads, it's Karen Quinn, the testing mom. If your child is taking a test for a gifted or gate program, you can be sure there will be nonverbal serial reasoning, sometimes called pattern matrix questions on the test. We're talking about tests like the OLSAT, the NNAT, SAGES, KBIT, Stanford Binet, Ravens Matrices, and more. These tests are given all over the country. For programs like New York City Gifted and Talented, LAUSD Gate programs, Houston and surrounding suburbs GT programs, Chicago Public Schools, California Gate programs, and many more school districts. So today, what I want to do is show you how to teach your child how to handle these questions. Now, here is how serial reasoning puzzles work. There's a nine box matrix. The shapes or figures in the boxes create a pattern. One box will be empty and your child has to decide what shape or figure goes in the empty box to complete the pattern. Your child needs to identify the rule that guides what's happening to the shapes in the pattern. If your child can identify the rule, it will help them solve the puzzle. Today, I'm going to show you the different types of serial reasoning puzzles that appear on these tests and the rules that guide them. There are seven main rules. First, and this is the easiest rule, is the serial reasoning puzzle where every figure inside is the same. C is the answer. Second, we have what we call the big five. I call it that because the four corners and the middle box have the same shape or figure inside. Then the four boxes in between also have the same shape or figure inside. It's really easy to see it here where there are five purple diamonds and four orange diamonds. A is the answer. You can also solve this by calling it an AB pattern. The figures inside the boxes alternate AB, AB across nine boxes. Now these can be a little tricky to spot. For instance, this puzzle doesn't look anything like the big five puzzle you just saw. But if you look at it closely, you'll see that the figures in the four corners and center are the same and the figures in between are also the same. If you can recognize puzzles that follow this rule, it's super easy to find the answer. Look for a figure that's the same as one in the corner. Here C is the answer. The next rule to look for is a rotation across nine boxes. Here, the little figure is rotating 90 degrees clockwise across nine boxes. If you watched our lesson on analogies, you'll remember rotations. They also show up here and you want your child to be able to recognize them. Here, D is the answer. Here's another example of a rotation across nine boxes. The outer figure is the same throughout, but there's an inner dial that rotates counterclockwise about 45 degrees across nine boxes. C is the answer. Our next rule is called two of the same, one different. Not a very clever name, I know, but it does describe what's happening in the puzzle. The one difference may be with shape, color, number, shape orientation, or rotation, many of the same characteristics we look for in analogy questions. In this example, there are two of the same pink shapes in each row and column, and there's one different green shape in each row and column. So B is the answer. In this puzzle, each row and column has an all white shape and one shape where the center is deep purple. In the bottom row, we need a shape with a deep purple center, and that would be C. Do you see how we have a pattern here that goes across the rows and up and down the columns. Each row and column has two of the same and one different figure. The next rule we're going to learn is called three of the same. Puzzles like these have three figures that are exactly the same. 
It might be a shape, color, number, rotation, etc. In this puzzle, every box has the same E shape, but there are three different colors. So D is the answer. Now, three of the same puzzles can be tricky when the same three things aren't right next to each other. Here is a three of the same puzzle where the three things that are the same are not next to each other. When this happens, the three of the same rule can be harder to recognize. But if you look carefully, you'll see that there are three different figures of the same color, one in each row and column. To complete the pattern, we're looking for the diamond shape with the burst in the center. So the answer is A.